do you think Nintendo should do to, to make, make a comeback? Um, and and uh, make better games. Make better games. Make better games that utilize that pad. Is it? Is it? Pad, okay. Because that pad is what's keeping this afloat. Uh, you need. It, it, but make games like a Zelda that is not this Hyrule Warriors crap. Mm-hmm. Make keep doing like all the games that made you money, all the franchises that made you money. Because this we me universe or this this universe thing, the me verse, whatever it's called, it's not working. Mm-hmm. It's not putting people in their seats to. It's not putting their money out to buy a system. To, to see how cool this is. Because if you look at it, they have backward compatibility. They can play other games besides Wii U games. And it's it's something that Xbox can't do, can't say. It's something that, that Sony can't say right now. And it's, it's mind-boggling how they just drop the massive ball on this. Yeah, uh, Chachi, you've played uh, some Wii U in the past couple weeks. Uh, this is your first time, I think, getting the hang- your hands on it. What were your impressions? Uh, maybe it was just the, the game I was playing. Which, uh, which was? Uh, one of the Super Mario Brothers they released. Um, Super Mario World. I, 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 don't, I don't remember which one it was. It, I, think it was I think it was one of the new Super Mario ones. Uh, but it didn't utilize the gamepad all that much that I, I got to see, um, and honestly, it, I don't I don't see the point. Uh, I, this is just a, a quick um, preliminary thought on it. I just I don't I don't see the the purpose of it, um, and it may be useful in other games like uh, like Zelda. I I don't know. Um, that would require Nintendo to release a, a new Zelda game, uh, which don't they, they do don't want to do. And I don't understand why, wanna, and it hurts my heart. They um, want to rehash the old Zelda games. I'm mm-hmm. sorry, what was that? They want to rehash old Zelda games. Yeah, and that's wrong. That, um, that's not, that's not I, right. I, I've played and beat Wind Waker. I'm not going to go out and buy Wind Waker HD. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're rumoring about Majora's Mask. I already beat yeah, it. Yeah, right. I, beat it. I I'm not Four gonna times. go out and buy. I I don't need. I want new. Mm-hmm. I don't need old. I really feel I can get old. I really feel like Nintendo is doing a poor job of project management. I again go back. It's what is happening there that they weren't able to line something up that was provocative enough for me to say that's something I want the Wii U for because I haven't seen it yet. You know, versus when we looked at the Wii, it was like, Zelda game. That looks awesome. I'm all in. Right? right? Or you get in, in, in uh, you know, what else came out? Like, the games were interesting. The games took advantage of it. There's no ooh wow factor with this new technology versus what we had before. It just isn't there. I, I, think, I think they put the hardware team before the software team in this case. Or something, and like I said, and maybe maybe a year from now we're gonna have a big flash of games that take a really great advantage of this. But I think like maybe this is something they stuck in there that they sprung on their own developers. Um, I, I agree. Surprise! Really, or maybe or maybe there was like three awesome games that went south in development and they had to cancel. You know, I, I mean, I th- I think something really bad happened with the developers at Nintendo. And and that's well, just bringing the rest of it down. They've already this year, uh, they they've lowered their their expectations as to oh, what they expect for the Wii three. or for the Wii U. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I mean, it dropped. Uh, what was it? Three million Seven, units. Seventy percent. It, it dropped slashed, tremendously. Seventy percent. Mm-hmm. What they need to do. Um, and I, I honestly think this is the only key. Um, they need to abandon ship on the Wii U. Yeah, I agree. They're not going to, but they need to. They have nothing else. The problem is they have nothing else to 
to, to I, sell that. They should they should yeah, they focus do. on the 3ds. Well, they, I mean, the okay. 3DS, what, the, what the 3DS, 3DS, 3DS is do. actually selling well. Okay, but but, uh, but, well, but they, with the exception that they now owe a, a third company, a third party, five dollars from every uh, 3DS sold. Oh, really? um, That's not but, bad uh, though, five dollars. No, not at all. But um, so here's what they need to do: abandon ship on the Wii U. Mm-hmm. Because you're not giving the gamers what they want. Mm-hmm. Because, all right, at this point in the Wii, in, in, in comparison, at this point in the Wii life cycle, we already had Twilight Princess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is just a comparison. And we had Mario Galaxy to wait for. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, in comparison, at this point in the Wii's life, you already mm-hmm. had the uh, the excitement over Wii Sports. You had uh, Mario Kart. You had um, Skyward Sword. Mm-hmm. And then Wii Fit. You had yeah Wii Fit. Well, and then you had Skyward Sword. Do you guys remember right when when they announced the uh, the Wii? Everybody said Nintendo won E3 that year. Yeah, because they did. They they were great. They they showed the their new games. They they built on like on that. everything really well. And, and and also it was new interesting technology. Exactly. And, and they were poised. They had a promise. They they were poised to show something different to games. And, and then, then the bottom fell out. And then well, yeah, but then they didn't keep going. Even on the Wii yeah. lifestyle. Look at the last couple years of the Wii. Yeah, cycle. exactly. I don't want anything from the later years of the Wii, you know? Mm-hmm. They didn't even get a Pikmin game out. They're like, oh, we're going to relaunch Pikmin 2 with a, with a new compatibility. Like, that's, again, like, that, it really just felt like there's there's a dearth mm-hmm. of ideas. There's a dearth of developers. There, there's something wrong here. What happened to the days when we had outside studios bringing us new Metroid games that, that changed things, you know? Uh, no, Metroid... that, that, that was a terrible game. What, Metroid Prime? Yeah, no, um... Oh, oh, no, no, I'm talking that. about the glory days of the GameCube, okay. sir. I'm talking about Wii. your Eternal Darkness. I'm talking about your uh, Metroid Prime. I'm talking about Namco yeah. was working on Star Fox. Um, the, you know, the, that the, kind of stuff. Barrel. The Metroid for Wii uh, set, set Metroid back about 50 it years. It did, it did. But <laughs> still, it was something, you know? Yeah. Obviously, yeah. obviously, Nintendo somehow is not big enough of a developer to develop enough games to keep their console going. Um, you yeah. know, and back to what I was saying. In order to save face, and this, this excites me and pains me at the same time, but they need to abandon ship on the Wii U, first and foremost. Mm-hmm. Then they need to work on the lineup for the 3DS, which isn't bad. No. I bought then, a couple of 3DS games since I like I like my 3DS. Right, it, it's They're not doing a bad a great system. Job, I think <laughs> uh, they did a great job with the 3DS. Mm. I'll, I'll give them that. It was a slow start, but they're back. Mm. Right, and then what they need to do to finally pull themselves out and save face is to give certain companies licensing rights mm-hmm. and and let them take. And, and they'll never do this. This will never happen in a million years. But need to take certain characters to a new platform. Mm-hmm. We said the same it, thing about Sonic. Sonic yeah, exactly. It worked for Sonic. I, I, I mean, if you're not gonna if you're not gonna give us new Zelda games, there are developers chomping at the bit to make me a Zelda game for for 360. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, that game that game is probably already being developed. And they've, they've always had this. I mean, they've always trickled out, um, you know, even their, their rehashes with Legend of Zelda and, and everything like that. Remember they were releasing, like, Legend of Zelda on a cartridge for 20 bucks for the Game Boy Advance? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, the original NES Legend of Zelda. Um, well, no, that was their NES Classic one. Yeah, exactly. Um, they did that. They had, uh, I, I know of Metroid, which I own. Mm-hmm. Um on the cartridge and Legend of Zelda, and then there's a couple more that they did, um, like Icebreakers and or, yeah, stuff like that. So, but it, that's it, it's come to this. That, that's what Nintendo needs to do to save face and 
to uh, survive. Mm -hmm.